Hi there. Today I'm going to show you a simple formula to a uh, simple calculation to work out what day of the week, the 4th of uh, July. Um, 4th of July is on for any year. So obviously um, the 4th of July is the American Independence Day and it's always on the 4th of July but the day of the week can vary from you know Sunday, Monday, Tuesday right through to Friday and Saturday so it could be fall on any of the seven days of the week. I'm going to show you a simple calculation to uh, work out what day of the week um, the 4th of July, July the 4th falls on and I'll do the, the date in the American date format with uh, the month first and then the day. And for the first calculation, I'm going to use uh, the year 2019 as uh, as the year to as the uh, to, sh to show you using that year to show you um, how to work out the date of July the fourth, 2019. So this uh, formula it can be used for any year, but just to show you how it works, I will use 2019. Okay. So uh, with that uh, date, the great thing about this uh, formula or this calculation is that all it's all the numbers are based, and the things you do with the numbers are all based on the numbers that are in the date. So if we, um, what we've got to do is break that up into five sections. So there's the first section, second section, third section, fourth, and fifth section. And what I'll do is I will. Uh, write the uh, the sections down the side of the page and five. So the first section we pick up uh, one and two, which is the seven and the four, and we take the uh, the four away from the seven, and that leaves us with the number three. And the second part is the third uh, section is nineteen. So we put 19 there, and we're going to add up, there's going to be four numbers there, and we'll add them all up as part of the calculation. And then the fourth and the fifth section is we take the 20 and the 19 from the year, 2019, and we divide both of those, the 20 and the 19, by 4. And 20 divided by 4, uh, 4 fives to 20 is 5.0. And then 19 divided by 4, I'll just do that on my calculator, so 19 divided by 4 equals 4.75. Okay, so once we've got those answers, for the, for the fourth line, we're only interested in the number on the other side of the, uh, the point, like the point zero or whatever. And then for the 5, we're only interested in the whole number. So we're not interested in the 0.75, we're only interested in the 4. So what we do with the 4 then, um, we'll do the easy one first. We'll put the 4 over here. That's part of this uh, sum we're going to do shortly. And then in the, uh, in the point 0, we need to, whatever that point number is there, we need to multiply that by minus 8. And obviously uh, point 0 multiplied by anything, minus 8 or whatever it is, is always going to give you the answer of 0. So there we go, so we've got those, got those four numbers to begin with and we're going to add those four numbers together. So uh, let's have a look. So we've got 3 plus 19 plus 0 plus 4 equals 26. And then step six then is we're going to divide uh, that 26 by 7 and find out what the remainder is. So the calculator out again, 26 divided by 7 gives us an answer of 3.71 and you know, a stack of other numbers but we'll just put 3.71 there. And we're only interested in the 3 there. So we'll take the 3 across there again. And 3 times 7 is 21. 
27 to 21. And then we just find the difference between 26 and 21. Take 21 away from 26. 26 minus 21, and the answer there is 5. And that's our final number that we need to calculate. And then we just get this little table. And, and if that uh, remained a number, that number there was 1, well, it would be Sunday. 2 would be Monday, 3 Tuesday, but it's 5. So 5 is Thursday. So that means that July the 4th, 2019 will fall on a Thursday. Okay, and just one other note about the table there that uh, if you end up with zero, then zero is uh, Saturday. So there we go. It's a simple formula that shows you how to, uh, and this works for any year, uh, follow those steps and you can work out what day of the week, the 4th of July, American Independence Day falls on. And just to show you another, another date, and then, and uh, you know, to show you how it works for a different date in a different century, I'm gonna jump forward 150 years to July the 4th, 2169. And it's the same principle. So pick up the 1, 2, and 3 there on the 69, and then the 4 and the 5 for 21. And 69, and we do the same thing to the uh, to this lot of numbers. And I'll just uh, write them all in there to begin with, all the, all the uh, red numbers. So it's uh, 1... Our one, take away two, seven minus four for July the uh, 4th, and that gives us three. Our year this time is 69. So I put the 69 there, and then we put in 21 in the fourth section, and 69 in the fifth section. Divide them by four once again, and get out the trusty calculator. 21 divided by 4 is a 5.25 and 69 divided by 4 is 17.25 okay so once again you just uh, pick up the whole number out of 5 do the easy one first and slot the 17 over there now calculation uh, section and this one we want to pick up the 0.25 and multiply that by minus 8 so calculator out again 0.25 multiply by 8 and make that minus 8 equals and the answer there is a minus 2 minus 2 there we go so add up those uh, four numbers 3 plus 69 minus 2 plus 17 is equal to 87. Okay, so once more with the 87, we need to divide that by 7 and find out what the remainder is. Uh, so 87, divide that by 7. And the answer is there's 12.4285. Just write down the 12.42, but we're only interested in the 12. And put that over there. So carry the 12 over there and multiply that by 7 again. So 12 times 7 equals 84. And I'm just dragging the page across there a little bit. And, and then we'll take uh, the 84 from the 87. 87 minus 84, and that's a 3. There's the difference, and so that's our final number. We'll get out our little table again and find three, and we can see three is the third day of the week, and three is for Tuesday. Okay, so there we go. So that uh, July the 4th, 2169 is going to fall on a Tuesday. So there we go. 
that's a simple formula to calculate uh, what day of the week the uh, 4th of July will fall on, American Independence Day will fall on in any year. So just follow those steps and work out what day of the week it is. Okay, well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.